Today's video, we're gonna be showing you a new way to run the big corner, little corner concept out of the gun bunch offset formation. You can really apply this to pretty much any formation that you wanna be running. We're gonna be in the Indianapolis Colts playbook for this. If you wanna get my entire uh, Indianapolis offensive ebook, I think it's one of the best offenses, if not the flat out best offense this year. And you can get that by becoming a Patreon member. That's where you get access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks. We have over 15 different offensive and defensive schemes, as well as numerous updates to those schemes to make them more optimized as the game has continued to change. And we're gonna show you one of my favorite ways uh, to utilize what is known as the big corner little corner concept we're going to be doing this out of the play curl flat out of the gun bunch in the colts playbook now the way that most people like to run the double corner concept is essentially to have a big corner or a deeper corner route and a shorter corner route so if you'll see here, if you look to the right side of your screen, a lot of times it looks something like what you see on your screen. And we might just have like a little check down on the backside, like a little backside drag or something like that. What you're going to see is because this shorter corner route is going to kind of run underneath, a lot of times he's going to get open. There you see one of the biggest problems with this is because we don't have what is known as a traditional short corner route in gun bunch uh offset like we do out of like let's say west coast bunch has the play stick gun bunch strong offset has the play corner strike both of those have shorter and sharper cutting corner routes that are better for this concept we don't really have that in gun bunch but we do have the ability to create that and the way we're going to do that is we're going to use the tight end apprentice or the hot route master corner route so here I have Hot Route Master in practice mode. If you want to uh, grab Rob Gronkowski, I know he's expensive, but he does have the ability to get tight end apprentice uh, in Ultimate Team, and there's going to be other cards that come out that can do that as well. Um, you could also just put the pay the two AP for it and take off gift wrap if you want. But anyway, want to just break down this uh, little route concept here. So we're just going to put the tight end on a tight end apprentice corner. If you take a look at this, this is a much shorter corner route to the right side of the screen. And then really from there, you could put the outside bunch receiver on a flat if you want to. You could put him really on anything. He's kind of honestly not really even part of this concept. Really the main thing we want to showcase is this uh, these two corner routes to the right. So we're going to go against a baseline press cover four drop. And what you're going to see is that that tight end apprentice corner, that outside quarter can't midpoint. He can't play both corner routes, which is what makes this such a good route combination. Now, another thing that we're able to do with this is let's say that they want to run uh, cover three, for example. The same basic thing is going to be true here. You're going to see that the outside third is going to go to that deeper corner route. And then that tight end apprentice corner is going to run underneath it for an easy gain of, you know, about 30 yards. So the main thing they're going to have to do to stop this is they're going to have to have a cloud flat. Now, what most people are going to do when they run this is they're going to try to use a double Mabel coverage where they're putting their clouds at 30 and their curl flats at uh, roughly uh, five or 10 yards. The cool part about this tight end apprentice uh, shorter corner route is he actually can get underneath these zone drops. You see how he's kind of delayed, and we can throw this before he gets to that cloud flat defender, which makes this a super valuable play. Now, what they can also do to kind of try to combat this a little bit is a baseline and a pressed cloud flat. This is where we like to put this outside receiver on a streak because if they are running a traditional cover two, then you can throw this deeper corner out over the top of any kind of traditional cover two where they're just having a basic cloud flat. Now, if we don't have the streak on the field, I just want to show this real quick just so that you can understand like what you actually have access to. If we don't have that, you're going to see here that this, this uh, out deep half if they have deep out zone KO, he's probably going to be able to knock that out. So the streak kind of helps clear out that deep third or deep um, that deep half to be able to take advantage of the defense that way. One other thing I want to show you with this concept is if I try to force feed this tight end corner out, um, you'll see here that it, it it's really not open against a baseline and press cloud flat. So that's why we want to have the outside bunch receiver on the streak in case we do you know, maybe get like a cover two, this is going to allow that deep corner route to be able to give you a big play against any kind of standard uh, cover two coverage, as you can see right here. This is truly one of the better concepts in the game because it gives you a really, really good way to flood the zones to the right side of the screen. One of my other favorite things to do here is to just basically have a drag on the backside and block my running back for extra pass protection. If you wanted to, you could motion this guy in and then put the running back on a little wheel route. 
I think that that's helpful if maybe they're running man-to-man coverage. Then you got that running back wheel potentially to get over the top of the man coverage. But really the backside is up to you. But the main concept here is these corner routes to the right or to the right side of the screen. I like to run this with my bunch to the wide side of the field. If they do run man coverage, oftentimes that tight end corner will be able to cook that as well. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you want to get my entire gun bunch offset uh, Colts offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. The link's going to be down in the description below. So thanks for watching the video. And to join the Patreon, head down to the description and go click the link down below.